According to breastcancer.org, one in eight women will develop breast cancer in their lifetime. Thinking about eight women in your life and then thinking that one of them is going to have cancer is kind of a scary thought. Um, I am Michaela Benthal, and I'm the volunteer coordinator for the Susan G. Komen Race for the Cure here in Austin, and I want to welcome you, members of the community, and tell you about Race for the Cure, our purpose here as the, as the foundation in Austin, and give you a little bit of background, um, a little bit of information for the volunteer experience and the advantages, what, and the advantages of volunteering for the foundation. Before I begin, I'd like to state some ground rules. If you have any questions, please refrain from asking them until the end, and I'd be glad to answer them. Thank you. Uh, now to transition into the background of the organization. The Susan G. Komen Foundation was founded in 1982 by Nancy G. Brinker. She's the sister of Susan G. Komen. She started the organization in memorial of her sister. Uh, Susan was diagnosed when she was 33, and she um, uh, died, unfortunately but she wished to have made it to make a difference for women in the future because um, uh, she thought had she been had she been aware of the disease and how to treat it beforehand maybe her treatment and her um, her uh, death would have been prevented so Nancy set out and promised Susan that she would dedicate her life to that um, according to the Komen Austin website um, they were started in 1999 since then, they have raised over $14 million, and since they've only been uh, uh, established for a short amount of time, that's a lot of money, they dedicate all that to providing free uh, breast screenings, education and medical services, and to providing financial and emotional support to all those affected by the disease. Uh, it doesn't just have to be survivors or um, people who are diagnosed. It can also be family members, friends who are also coping with the whole situation. Um, so they're very dedicated to that. Um, it was started, uh, uh, basically they find, uh, they found it on, on the philosophy that being self-aware and uh, being able to prevent it ahead of time is the way to combat the disease and prevent um, it from spreading around the body. So that's one thing they try to emphasize at their programs here. Um, uh, Race for the Cure now to focus on the event that I organized. Um, it was last weekend. Uh, it's their number one fundraiser, and this year they rate of, raised over $4,000, $400,000, sorry, and had over 9,000 participants take part. Even though it was freezing cold on the Sunday, um, lots of people came out, and they were like a huge support, and it was a really big turnout, and it really was successful. So um, it's a very good uh, event to come to, especially for this cause. Um, advantages for volunteering from personal experience. I feel like it's a, it's like amazing to be part of this um, this foundation where a lot of people are here to support either a friend or a family. It's not just people who have the disease or um, are there. They're there to like um, uh, to honor those who have passed or those who are still fighting it. So it's just like a whole great congregation of lots of people there. Um, I was there with my dance team. We were cheering on runners and we were passing out water bottles. We were helping direct uh, runners and walkers, whoever, uh, to where they needed to go. It was just, everyone was really happy, even though it was like really early in the morning and really cold. It was just, it was a really good um, experience. So, now to summarize. The Coma in Austin focuses, like I said, on raising funds for free breast screenings, medical services, um, education, and just creating awareness. Here, they dedicate 25% uh, of their funds each year to research. Um, to summarize, they hope to end breast cancer um, forever. That's like their long-term goal. Um, and uh, to continue raising money, they hope to continue to continually have rate the race for the cure each year. So I would like to encourage you guys to maybe volunteer um, next year. Um, I've listed many other ways you can contribute. If you can't volunteer, you can also donate on their website or their app. And um, uh, um, and it would this organization would benefit greatly from the growth and volunteers just like you guys. So I hope you'll take it into consideration. Now, if you have any questions, uh, please let me know. <laughs>